Hello there. Right. We're going to talk about Zone Fighter. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the fuck is Zone Fighter? Understandable. Because it's a really a fucking obscure Japanese TV show. So understandable if you're like, what the fuck are you talking about today? Uh, talk about Zone Fighter. So it's like a, a, a Sentai show or yeah, like Power Rangers. Um, but it's based in the Godzilla universe, uh, particularly the Showa universe, because Godzilla likes to, each era does like to rewrite its ca um, canon. Yeah, it's canon. And then, well, we get to the Millennium Era, and then it will just rewrite its canon pretty much every other movie, which is fucking insane. Uh, <laughs> so I was going to say that day, just like, yeah, we're rewriting the canon again. What? You just, you just did that? Yeah, now we're doing it again. The Millennium Era is mad. Um, we'll get to that at some point. Many moons from now, because that is a, a very far in the future idea. Um, but yeah. So this was, well, what was it based on? I was just looking at the movie. Um, well, it came comes after... So it comes after Godzilla vs. Megalon. Or it goes between Godzilla vs. Megalon and Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, which... Uh, so it's just before the last two movies, which I will see a couple of weeks' time. So you have a, basically you have a bunch of heroes from Peacelandia. That's the that I'm not making that term up. It is Peacelandia. That is an actual place. Um, <laughs> I was just looking at the Wikipedia. I didn't mention it. Uh, but basically, it's a whole family, um, though only three of them can like transform like Power Rangers. So you have uh, Zone Fighter, who basically has um, a really cool car, uh, which he, he, he I'm pretty sure he mo he's the only one who really drives it. So the Skyline GT, uh, which can also fly because it's called the, oh, yeah, the Mighty Liner. It is a weird ass name. Um, but you can also transform into, uh, well, it doesn't really transform into, this is a zone double fight, that's the one, I was looking at, going, well, uh, basically it has a bunch of uh, abilities he can use, um, during fights, so he fight, he transforms to fight other kaiju, um, pretty much every episode, every episode basically ends in a big kaiju fight, um, the show is very formulaic, because, yes, yeah, it's, it's for kids, and it's kind of, kind of like a Sentai. That's kind of, kind of the idea of like old Sentai. It's just they always end in a big fight because yeah, you get to an episode level. What the fuck's my big fight? Was this? Was this bullshit? Um, except for uh, most of them end in a big fight. Even even like the couple of two parts. I think it's like two two parts. I think. Um, and you have two other heroes. Uh, Zone Angel. She can just transform and. Doesn't grow big or anything. Um, just has, you know, her abilities. Uh, and Zone Junior, who's like a... So Zone Angel is, um, is a woman. And then Zone Junior is a, a little boy. Um, but they all basically fight enemies. They're just... The other two, Zone Angel and Zone Junior, don't get to fight. Uh, don't get to transform into a giant form and fight other kaiju. Um... Yeah, and there's, they basically have a, 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 the rest of their family who don't transform in any way. They just help out a lot of the time. Um, the other two, Zone Angel and Zone Junior, also have Smokey. Um, <laughs> no, you're thinking Sm Smokey. The fuck is Smokey? Smokey is basically a like aircraft that they can drive around in. I think you can go into space. Um, but it basically resides in clouds. Uh, yeah, it always comes out of clouds. So that's why it's called Smokey. That's a weird ass. It's a weird ass name. I don't know. It's just one of those things where you like looking at it. Hmm. All right. Um, yeah, so, but like, yeah, his family live in their own home. Um, and they fight off evil basically the rest of the family's mostly there for like assists and to get like messages in 
Um, because they always send off this like Zubot, which is basically like a just a little toy robot that they use. Um, which occasionally they'll throw off if one of them gets in distress or gets captured or whatever. Um, which happens quite quite regularly. Sometimes, sometimes in like the next episode, like Zone Junior got ca- kidnapped, and I'm pretty sure he got kidnapped in the episode afterwards. It's like, oh what? Um, so yeah. But yeah, we get you get like an original kaiju pretty much every episode. But there's obviously the series, like I said, is based in the Godzilla universe. How do we know that? Because Godzilla shows up. Um, Godzilla is like the, uh, the friend who apparently just li- lives like nearby and is he has his own cave. He has his own cave, like a kind of like the Bat Cave. <laughs> like it's only shown in one episode. Where he comes out like a cave with like sliding doors and everything. And he's, he's just kind of like crouching in there and like, Ah, alright then, I'll come out of here. I guess because it was expensive, so they... I don't, actually, it was expensive, so why did they do it once? I don't know. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, he goes as their friend. He, cages, he comes in quite, for quite a few episodes. I'm looking at here, what we got? We got five episodes. Goes as in. One, two, yep. Yeah, yeah, five episodes. Um, which is, yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's twenty six episodes episodes in total. Um, so Godzilla's in five of them. Uh, the only the other two kaiju that we know uh, that people know, King Ghidorah shows up in like a two parter. Um, to fuck shit up, and uh, Gigan uh, also shows up. I think Gigan. The show explains how Gigan came back because I'm pretty sure he, pretty sure he died, didn't he? I don't remember. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he, he definitely died at some point. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. So they they, they show up as enemies, and but for most of the other episodes, it's like a new kaiju they create like every other week, which is it's kind of impressive. I mean, yeah, the, the costumes don't look. Some of them look better than others. Um, I'll be honest, look at them going. Yeah, it's a little bit janky. But, yeah, it's a TV show. It looks pretty good. Um, most of the episodes, generally, of the Kaiju fight normally take place in that kind of fieldy area that they're using for most of the later, later Showa era. Sometimes they'll be in a town, which is nice. It's just better than like some of the Showa films, which a lot of the, like, yeah, late sh- show er- look, late show films basically are just like in the middle of up fuck nowhere, so they'd have to build a bunch of buildings and you know destroy those each episode or each movie, um, which costs a lot of money. Uh, but the main villains of this are the Gorgans, Gorgans, Gor Gor Gorgan. It's it's hard to know. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, I've only heard it like pronounced with like in Japanese I'm like um, and it's hard to pick out you know some words um if they're just like spoken in like a whole Japanese sentence about a bit of um but uh yeah the the, the main villains they got like a, a a leader and then a whole bunch of uh, other versions of them they're like I don't know it's, they're kind of like they got like exaggerated skull heads kind of thing uh, and they have antennas which they can take off uh, and they can attack people and whip them and uh, strangle them and all that kind of stuff all the good stuff um, yeah that's them. oh and also um, they can transform into human form um, as you also mentioned the um, all the other all the other good guys from Peace Landia they all just look like humans um, but the Gorogans, they can transform into humans, um, but they have, like, webbed hands. Um, uh, except for the times when the show just kind of forgets that plot point, um, which happens in you know, a couple episodes. I'm like, oh, they just kind of forgot that. Um, but if you spot anyone wearing gloves, uh, watch out, because they're generally a villain in the show. It's like any time I spot anyone, it's just like, they got gloves on. Clearly a villain. They're not show- showing their hands. Must be a villain. Um, but... Sometimes they forget that plot point. Um, but there's 
I was just thinking, like, the episodes are unique. They're, they're nutty. Um, thought one time they just miniaturize a bunch of kaiju. Um, but admittedly, they don't really do much with that. They kind of miniaturize them and then just throw them about. And then that's it. I was like, oh, okay. You guys could have, like, miniaturized them and brought them inside the house. So the, Also, the thing with the Peace Landing is that their home is kind of, like, protected from... They got, like, a barrier. So... Sometimes they get like tricked, I think. There's a lot of brainwashing episodes where they brainwash one of the main characters, or quite a few of the characters. It's, it's, it's a recurring thing. Or they get replaced with a body double. I think that happened in uh, a few episodes. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's nice. It's, but it looks it looks good for like a yeah 70s TV show. Oh, the, this version I've got here is... Um, is a yeah, bootleg. Uh, <laughs> I don't have the legitimate version, unfortunately, um, because that wouldn't. I'm pretty sure that would cost a lot of money. Um, I think it looked it did cost a lot of money. I was like, nah, mate. And it also wouldn't have English subtitles, which this does. And he drops it. <laughs> so, yeah, there are yeah, like I said, 26 episodes in total. So this is the the set I bought. Has all the episodes and it has like a, a music CD as a bonus disc. Um, and yeah, there's the kind of famous bit where he's uh, shaking hands with uh, Godzilla, which I love. And also fighting Gigan. Uh, not Gigan, no, uh, King Ghidorah. Uh, what's going to say about the show? It's, it's nutty, but I think it's nutty in the best kind of way. Like, I was anytime I watched it, I was happy because it is just nutty. It just it's batshit insane. Um, it it has it has its own show rules. It works. It, it, it's it's yeah, it's it's batshit. I I definitely if you're a fan of like Power Rangers or any Sentai stuff, watch it. And obviously, if you're a fan of Godzilla stuff, watch it. Because it is in the show uh, universe. Um, I should really stop punching my microphone. Um, so it's it's canon, kinda. If you can say what canon is for Godzilla, it's uh, it's it's confusing. Um, some uh, uh, clips from the show there. That's what actually. That's what nope. That is what the uh, Gorgons look like. Like a skull, skull with exaggerated, like bug eyes and teeth exposed. And yeah, Godzilla shows up. Gigan's there. Uh, that is so. Yeah, that's Zone Fighter when he's transformed. So he, he, when he tra his normal form, which is down here, uh, he, he looks. It's a little bit different when he does transform into giant form. He looks like this. I guess face covered in case they want to use someone other than the main actor, <laughs> because. Busy or want to do some stunts, it makes it makes sense you'd have sort of cover their face because easy way you can do stunts and uh, not use your main actor and take down the production. Um, I think this show is made very cheaply, very cheaply, from what I, what I remember reading about it. Um, but a lot of the episodes are done by like direct yeah, you know, writers and directors from the uh, movies like there's episodes directed by Ishihiro Honda you know the guy who directed the original Godzilla so yeah there's that <laughs> yeah I can't remember did he I just remember if he wrote any of the episodes it doesn't, no it doesn't look like he does but there's also uh, Jun Fuku, uh, Fukuda who also directed quite a lot of the Showa era uh, movies um, yeah, Son of God's uh, uh, Ever a Horror of the Deep, which is uh, eh, uh, Son of Godzilla, which is eh, uh, I'm not, I'm not selling this Godzilla vs. Gagan, which is all right, and then uh, uh, Godzilla vs. Megalon, I think that was all right. Um, and you got Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla, so it's done quite a lot of uh, uh, stuff. But uh, yeah, it's it's a show 
I highly recommend. I really do. Um, it is. I love. I, I. I do. I kind of fell in love with it. It just. It's. It's. It's so dumb. Uh, it, it really is. It's, it's so fucking dumb. Um, the, the the suit sometimes yeah do look a bit, a bit bad. Um, but uh, it's it's definitely it's definitely worth a watch if you've not, if you can get a hold of it, if you can get a hold of like, this bootleg that I have here. Um, or if you could, yeah I think you'll probably find that old uh, archive, uh, yeah in, internet archive. They pro I think I probably got it because yeah, it's not likely they're gonna sell this. It's an obscure Japanese show from 49 years ago, as I'm recording this. Next year, it will be 50 years old. Um, so yeah, they're pro probably, probably not going to do anything with it. But uh, yeah, that's, I think I've, I think I've rambled on enough about Zone Fighter. Watch it. It's uh, it's fun. It's obviously a kid show, um, but it's just. Sometimes you just want dumb fun, and that's what it is, dumb fun. <laughs> yeah, just watch kaiju fights. Um, yeah, if I look a little bit sweaty here, it is currently, as I'm recording this, about 30 degrees. Uh, not just because I'm, I'm a, a fat bastard, but also because it's incredibly hot in here. Um, yeah, I w I'd like to do some more of this. So I did, on the channel, I have a commentary for every single episode of this. Because I'm a fucking madman, and everyone needs to watch... Everyone needs to watch my commentary of every single episode. <laughs> oh, why did I do that to myself? Nah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, it, it, it was a lot of fun to to do this series. And uh, yeah, I, I, I hope there's some more um, series I'll try and do some commentary for. Because I feel like, why not? It's obscure. I feel like hopefully, so, yeah, there's probably one or two people that have already done this before. Who knows? But yeah, I thought I'd give some obscure Godzilla uh, media some as a try. I think I've got. I might try and also do this similar thing for the Godzilla animated series from the '90s. Um, that I definitely want to do. I'd like to do the Hanna Barbera one, but that's only on YouTube. I don't think they've fully released it yet, so that might be seven. I keep trying to. I keep. Anytime I tweet anything about it, I'm just like, give us a DVD or Blu-ray. Give us a DVD or Blu-ray. Um, yeah. I've rambled on enough. Um, unfortunately, I don't think... There's not really a bit... Zone Fire has kind of fallen into obscurity. Um, yeah, any, anytime the end of the episode, you, he has these missile things on him. I think it's like... Uh, Missile, ah, oh, forgotten it now. Missile, mighty, wait, what was it? It's mighty missile thingy, me jiggy. Eight times once the end of the episode. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, me, meteor proton cannon. Uh, do, do, do. What? They don't have the name of it. Ah, meteor missile might. That's basically when he get, is is finishing move to any kaiju. Oh yeah, and he also has that. I, I mentioned this. He also, a lot of times we'll run out of uh, energy. This is like a, a kind of belt thing, a belt kind of buckle, which shows his energy. So it goes like from, I think, uh, blue, yellow, and red. And in red, he's like, has no energy left. Um, well, has some energy left. And then uh, they use Smokey to send off uh, far off energy to him so he can keep on fighting. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's basically what Smokey's there for. Smokey is there to offer assist and basically give. Zone Angel and Zone Junior to something to do rather than they, unfortunately they don't get to transform which is a bit of a sad um, yeah you only have one, one transforming character so it would have been nice to see them do, do it at least once in the episode, in the show but oh well, uh, I would also like to see the rest of the family fight that'd be kind of cool they're, they're there to offer assist but yeah it'd be kind of cool to see some of the some of the other team members to uh, the other family see if they they had like a transformation or whatever. Um, yeah, there was also a, a, a few, a few bits of stock footage they use every once in a while. Zone Fighter does sometimes does like a flip in midair or every once in a while. Um, and then I feel like he does like the later part of the show. He kind of 
Ah, uh, he kind of does that, but it's just the same stock footage. Um, and uh, oh, what was I going to mention? Uh, stock footage. Nope, it's gone out of my head. Uh, I had something and it has completely gone out of my head. Uh, oh yeah, the intro. That's, that's what I remember. Um, the intro is very long for the, fir the like first half of the season. Um, it kind of gives you a lot of backstory. Um, kind of does a lot of setup for each individual episode. It's like about a minute or two long, but it, it takes a while. They cut that down significantly um, in the like, uh, second half of the season. Um, also, this show has some uh, great show era songs. Um, the late show era has some good like themes for a lot of characters. And I just fucking love them because they're cheesy as fuck. Uh, but yeah, the show has some... Uh, <laughs> it's a great theme. I love it. Um, and yeah, it's RC. It's great. Just watch it. Go and watch it. Find it somewhere. I don't know. Go watch it. Um, yeah, that's that. I think we'll be talking about... Uh, what was the movie I'm thinking of talking about? Next one, we're going to talk about... Uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Because yeah, I think the last one is. So we've got those two films. I'm going to do a stream of those at some point. Um, probably when you're watching this, it's already done. But the video will be on YouTube. Um, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And then Terror of Mechagodzilla is the final show era film. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll watch those. And I think I'm going to be... Once those are done... I'm gonna do the show era of Gamera, just so we can take a take a break from Godzilla stuff and see how another company does it. Maybe they do it better. I don't think they will, but uh, yeah, we'll get to that, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, come by and uh, join me on Twitch at times if you want to watch me just re do my first react to some of the films. I think I've seen there's definitely Godzilla films in the later eras that I've already seen. Um, but we definitely have we definitely have a lot of kaiju films to watch. So for now, I say thanks for watching. And um, yeah, if you want to try and avoid some nukes, that'd be good. And also, watch out for the uh, Gorogas. Uh, they're still out there watching. Always being evil. Always, always being evil. That's how all the other episodes end. So it's like, always watch out for those guys. They're always evil. Watch out. Um... And yeah, show, show was cancelled after one season, so don't expect a full resolution to the show because shows don't really get that in it, this era. It's a very, yeah. You know, if the show was cancelled, I didn't get like a revival or whatever. That's just it. That's it. You're done. Um, it's, only, it's more of a modern thing. All right, I was wrapping this up. I'm out. Farewell. Oh,